Well, there's no added sugar here. <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is true. There's no added sugar, but it yes. does have cereal bowl cards and milk tokens. Yes. And you get to play one of the five classic cereal monsters. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> Start your day with silly and safe. Start your day with sassy and sage. Sincerely, simply, seriously, cereal. Everyone is welcome here. Hey, you. What are we reviewing today? Oh, who knows? I can't wait. <laughs> And I'm Jennifer, one of Maxwell's moms. Welcome to Seriously Serial. Episode number 421. Seriously Serial is made possible by viewers like you. And by Blue Legacy, a volunteer-run nonprofit dedicated to bringing people together. You can find out more at www.seriouslyserial.org. Thanks, Booney. If you like to eat your cereal dry, then you are a snacker, like our buddy, Bowler. Hello! Hey! <laughs> or, if you prefer your cereal with milk, then you are a spooner, like our pal, Spoony, who's also Seriously Cereal's director. It's a good director, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every month we create episodes with a theme, and this month's theme is... Sort of Cereals. Which is one of our favorite themes. Yeah, because there are so many Sort of Cereals <laughs> out there. There are, there's a ton. It has to be a favorite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Monster Crunch the Breakfast Battle Game. <laughs> oh my gosh. That sounds incredible. Yeah, I didn't even know there were cereal board games. Yeah, Breakfast Battle. <laughs> All right, Spoonie, time to talk. Cool. <laughs> well, we're not going to need plates or bowls for this sort of. Yeah, no need for a snap <laughs> pop in this time. <laughs> or a crackle. <laughs> yeah, so let's see. Which monster can eat the most cereal? <laughs> oh my gosh, this sounds like a blast. Maxwell's moms met at a gaming tournament. Hmm. Okay, well that's sorta true. Ah, uh, I say what you did there. <laughs> now, technically you already met before the tournament when Brienne came to work in the garden, right? Yep, that's yeah. absolutely correct. But soon after that day of her working in the garden, yeah. we actually met again mm. at a tournament for a game that I had designed. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that was really cool. Oh, and Brienne actually won the tournament that <laughs> You know, day. I, was about, I was about to ask. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what kind of tabletop games do you like to play? Let's see what our friends have to say. Totally. All right, Spoonie, it's time to share. Hi, my name is Amber, and I'm answering the question about tabletop games. I, it's, we haven't played a lot of games. Uh, we did play a lot of games a couple years ago during COVID, um, but we, the last couple years, we haven't been playing a lot of tabletop games, but uh, we own Uno, which is always a favorite. Um, I don't know if Jenga counts as a tabletop game. We play it on a tabletop, so we own that. Um, I just did a Mensa Games uh, thing, and we played a game called Garten Bow, which I bought because I thought it was really cool. It's like you build a little garden and you have to build certain flowers and stuff. So I thought that was a lot of fun. We own Monopoly. My son is crazy about Monopoly. So we play Monopoly sparingly because it's a very long game, but also because it makes him kind of uh, kind of nuts and he does some really crazy deals. So uh, that's one of the ones we own. Um, let's see. We own we own a whole bunch of games. We just haven't played a lot of them lately. So I think the favorites in my house are Monopoly and Uno. Um, 
we can do a cutthroat game of Uno, Uno uh, with the plus twos and plus fours. Um, but we uh, we also do some other games that are non-tabletop on the computer and stuff. So we haven't been playing the tabletop ones a lot lately. Hi, Mark here. On tabletop games, of course, when I was growing up and even as we got older, we used to go and, uh, with my mom and my sister and my niece. We used to play a lot of Monopoly. But another little in, in, uh, unusual little story about tabletop games. When I was in high school, I got in with a bunch of other guys and we used to go and do tabletop war games. Sometimes we would do the miniature stuff and uh, um, like Napoleonic warfare, stuff like that. In addition to that though, also they came out with in the late 60s, this whole series by this company called Avalon Hill. And it morphed into a bunch of other uh, companies now. But they made all of these board games based on famous battles in history. You get a Battle of the Bulge, you get a D-Day, uh, you can get a, a, a Midway, you name it, they made board games for all the major battles, uh, a lot of World War II. But so, board games have been around for a long time and they've kind of really morphed. Now they're coming back into people getting more interested in the board game version or tabletop versions of Dungeons and Dragons and Warhammer and things like that. Hello there, this is David. What is my favourite tabletop game? Well, I mean, like most people, my favourite tabletop game is to do tap dancing on the tabletop while juggling a set of kitchen knives. But when I get bored with that, my favourite game is the stolen Claymore Adventure Deck. Now, in this game, you and your friends can get to play some of the characters from my stories, like Finlay, or Hadley, or Big Sandy. And you can go with them to try and find the stolen Claymore, which has been hidden in Bog Murchie Castle, out on the Rannoch Moor. Now, to get there, you'll need to roll dice and fight battles with, with, with bad guys such as Bluebeard or Big Tech. But if you can beat all of them and find this stolen claymore and make your way back and you have to read bits of the story as you're going through it, it, it it's a complicated thing, but it's not that complicated. In fact, I think Maxwell's going to put a link somewhere in this video clever thing he does that, that shows you in more detail how to play The Stolen Claymore Adventure Deck A story of Wally the Mahar Gom and his friends it, It's pretty good though obviously not as much fun as tap dancing on the tabletop while juggling a set of kitchen knives but you know, pretty good all the same Hi everyone, I'm Cyan Broadhacker, and I like to play a lot of tabletop games. Um, I really like playing Uno, um, I like playing um, Goldfish, I like playing Slapjack, I like playing Egyptian Rat Tail, which is a really confusing game at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's a lot of fun. Um, I like playing Battleship. Guess who? Uh, don't break the ice or break the ice. I can't remember. Um, <laughs> um, I like playing Scrabble. I like playing was it Snakes and Ladders. There's a lot of different games that I like playing. I grew up on tabletop games, so tabletop games are a lot of fun. Thank you, friends. What about you? Go to SeriouslySerial.org and use the mailbox to send us a message. Yeah, we love you. Hello there, Maxwell and Jennifer. Hey, Fork a Million, we're actually reviewing a game this week, so you don't have to... Ha ha! <laughs> a serving size is... There are calories per serving, and each serving has grams of carbohydrates and grams of added sugar. <laughs> and the game is perfect for ages 9 and older. 
Thanks, Fork Million. You're welcome. Well, there's no added sugar here. <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is true. There's no added sugar, but it yeah. does have cereal bowl cards and milk tokens. Yes. And you get to play one of the five classic cereal monsters. Love that. <laughs> I do too, actually. Oh, oh, hey, spider. There you go. Hey, bowler. Hello, Seriously Cereal team. I wanted to let you know that what you're reviewing today costs, and playing the game takes about 20 minutes. Thank you, Bowler. And thank you too, Spider. Bye, Spider. Ah. Well, we usually have five minutes to taste test. Yeah, so I guess today we'll have five minutes to play test. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Taste the play. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that saying will catch on. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Maxwell and I have taught ourselves to play, and we've got everything set up. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to weigh in real quick mm -hmm. before we even began. Yep. One of my jobs out in the world, when I am not volunteering here at Seriously Serial, is I am actually a game designer. That's I cool. design the what's called the core mechanic, the rules of how a game is played. And you specialize in card games, I believe. That's actually true. <laughs> That's actually true. I specialize in card games. I found this a little bit ridiculously complicated. Yeah, yeah, it, this is... it has a little bit of a feel of the grown-up yeah. game poker. It has a little bit of a feel of... Actually, I kind of wish, I was hoping that it would be like a go fish type mm, thing yeah. or um, a game like that, but it really wasn't. So just so that you guys know what you're seeing here, we're going to play for a little bit under five minutes. Yeah. We're basically trying to move our cereal cards. Yeah. I am playing Count Chocula. And I'm playing Booberry mm -hmm. because I love Booberry. <laughs> this is Count Chocula's bowl. That's yeah. where I'm going to play my cereal cards. Yes. Woo, they're falling all over the place. Uh -oh. Into and then... These little milk tokens are used if I ever pass. If I'm like, yeah. oh, I can't put down a number, right. I'll use my milk token to pass. Mm -hmm. um, and or I'm sorry, <laughs> that's I'm already. Yeah, it's so see? complicated. Yeah. I've already mixed it yeah, up. Mi yeah, milk tokens are used. Basically, what it is is milk tokens are used to combine yeah. cereal. We cards. put down a card, and okay, don't tell Jennifer, but this is my hand. So let's say I put down. Um, <laughs> oh no, 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 the secret! Oh my, all oh, the lies. Okay. The monsters so, have superpowers. Okay. Yes. Two so, superpowers okay. each. So let's say I put down this card here. So Jennifer would then have, she could only play another card if that card is a bigger number than that number, which you guys know, but I'm not gonna repeat it. All right, let's go. Okay. Come on, you, let's yeah. just start. But milk tokens, yeah, they help you combine cards. So, and then that counts, they, their total is counted as combined, so then I'd have to beat that. So, it actually is kind of, you want to get the most cards down, but you don't want to play your biggest hand too fast, so... So the object of the game is to get as much cereal mm -hmm. as possible into your bowl before someone else doesn't have a hand, yes. doesn't have any cereals in their hand. So, Maxwell, you go first. All it right. says in the rules, whoever is the last person to have had a bowl of cereal in real life gets to go first. Well, okay. Uh, I'm going to start off... I think I had cereal last. Yes. Because I was filming an episode with Brienne earlier yes, today. Yes. So I'm going to place a one to start off simple. Okay. And then what I can do is I can either... If I have a cereal card that has a number one in my hand, I can place that. Or I can place any number larger than one. Yeah. Is that true, Max? I believe that is true. All right. So we got that part right. <laughs> so let's see. I actually have a one. So I'm going to go ahead and place a one. Okay. And then play passes back to Maxwell. Yes. And usually this, and it's, you're supposed to go for three rounds, but we're definitely not going to have time for that. So, let's see. Uh, I'm going to keep going slow and steady. Two. Hmm, a two, okay. Well, let's see. 
I look at my superpowers, and the superpowers, which Max, I'm gonna read them aloud, even though okay. normally you wouldn't yeah. let the other players know your superpowers. Yeah. But the thing is, is that after you play this game a couple times, you're probably gonna remember what yeah, all the monster's true. powers yeah. are. They so even like, meant call out blueberries in the rule book. <laughs> yeah, there we go, yeah. yeah. Like for instance, um, Count Chocula, he's got a superpower uh, use before playing. Place one card from your scoring pile, which is your extra cards off to the side, mm -hmm. uh, back in the box, then take a milk token. So okay. we could just like get rid of that card. Because the idea is that you play three hands so that you go through all the all the yeah. cereal yeah. cards. Um, so I can't do that one. And then it says, uh, my other superpower is until the next round, players must play equal to or lower than the oh previous. My God. Ah. So it switches it up. We need it more. It we all need right, more so Max, to help us with all these numbers. Yes. <laughs> math is awesome, but math can also be complicated yeah. and tricky. Yeah. That's yeah. right. <laughs> so Max put down a two. Yeah. Well, one more than two is a three. I'm going to put down all a three. Right. Well, I actually have a three as Ooh, well. Oh, he has a three. Yes. Okay, oh yeah, Max, you have a three. Well, I have a four. Oh, Ooh, no. A four. Well, <laughs> hmm. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know what? I'm going to use one of my powers, and that is to draw two extra cards. Oh, oh so that he has more choices. Yes. So it puts more cards in his hand, so that's harder for him yes, to then be out, that. but he needed more choices yeah. because he must not have had a four yeah. or greater than a four, a number bigger than a four. Which I won't confirm or deny, but you guys know. You oh my know. goodness. Maybe I'm just messing with hey. you. Hey! Oh, oh, geez. All right, so if we didn't have more cards, if we didn't have a card that worked, that we could put down, and we didn't have a card we could draw, we could say, pass, and then we take a milk token. Yeah. And then to use the milk tokens would be like this. Mm -hmm. Let's say Max put down a three, and yeah. uh-oh, I didn't have a three. Mm -hmm. So what I could do is I could play a milk token and put down a one and a two yes. because combined those make three. Yep. So if you're going to combine cereal, you have to use milk. Yes. And then I would put down a two yep. and a one and that would make three. Yep. And it actually also works if you have duplicates. So for instance, yes. take, a, take a look at this. It's my favorite number. But what if I want double the power? Then I use my milk token, and that's now a 16, so she has to beat that. See, there we go. And then the whole idea... Oh, go ahead, Max. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yeah. cut you Oh, off. sorry. Uh, I was just going to say the only thing is that you can't go in numerical order and then have doubles in the s when you're using the same milk token. It has to be one or the other. you got to choose. Uh, yeah. You but know what, geez, you guys? Jeez Louise, it is so complicated. You have heard on Seriously Zero before that when Maxwell and Faith were growing up, Without them even knowing it, I wound up rewriting all the rules to every game yeah, that we true. had in the house. Monopoly, they probably did know. They were just sweet <laughs> to me and pretended not to know. Yeah. You know, whether it was Monopoly or, um, oh golly, uh, Dungeon Quest or yeah, whatever Dungeon it Quest. was, I rewrote the rules to be cooperative. Now, interestingly enough, Maxwell and Faith both great, uh, grew up to be great competitors. They are gracious winners and they are gracious losers. And they're just really nice people to play games with but i am right. not fond of competitive games yeah. it's just i like it when people work together now this game is competitive but i also just think it's overly complicated so yeah. that was the first five minutes of play our time is out um i think i need to really think about this yeah. i want to be fair it's a fun idea and you know i like the art Oh yes, you know what, you know yes. What I, wish? I do like the you know, heart. You know what's actually kind of? I, I kind of wish that a, a new character, Carmela Creeper, was in it, like with Zombie DJ. Oh yeah. Was this like really, maybe this was like oh, released that's before her serial was revealed? Yes, because this is an older game. It has been out mm -hmm. for a while. But, yeah, um, that would have been fun to see her in this style, actually. Uh, the the really heavy cardboard that's used for the bowl and the powers and the milk tokens that's awfully nice that's yeah. going to last a really long time these are you know high gloss yeah. i like that um you know these are all of count chocula's cereal cards so it's yeah. all count chocula yeah blueberry it's all yeah. so i don't know max what do you think yeah you have to kind of yeah but what can we do to like pass the time more? <gasps> i know what here we are all right 
By the power of our cereal horns, we call our friend the Bookacorn! Hello everyone! Hi friends! <laughs> Today we'll be reading Alchemy. Sorta. We're going to sort of read the book? Well, Bookworm, you see, alchemy doesn't actually have any words. Oh, that's a sort of story. <laughs> Instead of words, I made some special music to go along with the story. You're so cool, Bookcoin. <laughs> Thanks, Bookworm. If you'd like to follow along, you can get an autographed copy at seriouslyserial.org. Alchemy. Illustrated by Carol DeMarco, Maxwell's Grandma. Coin. That's sort of what alchemy means. Alchemy is the magical change of one thing into another. Oh, like how the little bookworm turned into a big butterfly. It sure did. And all the things it experienced, like wind and sunshine, it all became part of the butterfly. Hmm, that makes me feel all warm inside. <laughs> me too, bookworm. Me too. Thanks for watching, everyone. Did you know that everyone at Seriously Serial is a volunteer? We are, but you can support the show over at seriouslyserial.org. Because Seriously Serial is safe for kids, YouTube turns off comments when we post episodes online. But we love hearing from you. Go to seriouslyserial.org and use the mailbox to send us a message, and we might read it in a future episode. Seriously Serial posts new episodes every Saturday, online, on public access television stations, and at seriouslyserial.org. See you next time. Bye. Start your day with silly and safe. Start your day with sassy and sage. Sincerely, simply, seriously serial.